hello good morning good afternoon good evening thank you so much for joining me welcome to my youtube channel as of so international tv if you're watching me for the first time thank you so much kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you're watching me from tiktok thank you so much kindly like my page share comment for more of my previous videos kindly go down to my page and watch more of my previous videos thank you so much but you can come and see you so let me explain something to you People get into marriage for different reasons, you understand? Some people, some people get married and within one year, six months, they, they end up going their separate or they divorce, you understand? But I want to tell you something that contract marriage is the best. Yes, yeah, you know why? I want to give you two reasons why I said contract marriage is the best. Because for those of us who have uh, who have high expectations, you understand? From get from what to get married, you understand? So I, I, will, I will just... Let me just say, if you have a special, if you have any uh, particular concept or an idea why you are going to marry, you understand? I think contract con a contract marriage should be the best for you. You understand? But if you want to go to marriage, okay, let me just, let me just go answer Mrs. or Mr. and Mrs. You understand? Without no idea, no backup plans, you just want to go everything, you understand? It's also good for you, you understand? But let me tell you, let me tell you something. Relationship life is all about 50-50 chances, you understand? I tell people that. You can put all your egg in one basket, but make sure that you boil them. Now, let me explain something to you. When you boil your egg, for example, one basket, when the egg, when the basket, or when the egg falls down, the basket breaks, it will not cut automatically. You still have some left with you, you understand? But when you put all your, all your eggs in one basket, everything will just cut down. You, you can't even do anything about it, you understand? So let me explain to you why contract marriage is better than any kind of marriage you can think of, you understand? See, number one, it encourages open communication. In contract marriage, you tend to discuss everything, terms and conditions. It's not because you don't love the person, but just because of, just in future, or just in case the, the relationship no longer works, or the love is no longer the or one partner is cheating, you understand? So, marriage, contract marriage, it opens communication. So, you guys will have a lot of discussions about your well being, how many of child you want to give back to, how long you think the marriage is going to last, you understand? And what will happen if, uh, if eventually both of you try to. And the marriage, you understand? So there must be there must be a reason regulation guiding a particular marriage. Or like you just going to marry like that without no set rules and regulation guiding, you just go there and if anything happens, you take it like that. Or that's why most people still stay in stay in abusive relationship or abusive marriage. So court marriage is still because there'll be no there will, there will be no any form of abuse, there'll be no domestic violence because you know that you guys are on contract, if anything goes wrong. Can try to walk away, you understand? So, and most people, they prefer this contract marriage because some of them they just want to have children, not because they really want to get married. No child will be like, go and get married, or when are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? Time is going. Uh, some people don't like it because you can't start having children. I do know the most funniest part that people going to marry because they want to have children, not because they just feel like getting married, or maybe time is going. But the, one, of the, one of the major purpose people going to marry is because they want to have kids you understand so it encourages open communication and that's why i prefer contract marriage than any of any form of marriage you can think of you understand second one i guess it protects individual assets whatever asset you have when people like a joint account it's okay to have joint account not against people having joint account you understand but it's okay it's also it's also good for you to have a personal account on your own on your own you understand so when you are it protects individual assets in the sense that whatever you have before you guys get married, it, it, it still belongs to you. You understand? Whatever she or he has, it still belongs to them. So whatever both of you acquires together, do you mean the marriage? It belongs to both of you. Both of you know how to go about it. You if you have uh, four kids or five, you people know how to take responsibility. You understand? Instead of you like going to have a very, I've a very case whereby this uh, man got married to this woman after some some quite a number of years. He left this man with the children and traveled abroad to meet somebody else. You understand? So it happens relationship. And that sometimes by the man will just get tired of the relationship. You just feel like working out. So contract marriage which will really help you like it will help you, it will protect your in your asset, going to protect your mental health, your state of mind. That's why I even prefer I prefer uh I prefer contract marriage. The last one is it prevents complicated lengthy court issue. Let me explain something to you. Like contract marriage, it prevents before before you guys actually get married, you know, you guys enter into contract. So it will prevent you from having long court case that will affect the children, affect the parties involved, even uh, uh, having to pay lawyers money. You understand? Because when the contract is already already stated, 
already there. When it's already, there will not be any issue to go to court or try to pay lawyer or try to get one solicitor to come and talk for you people. No. I and 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 it it, it helps to prevent court battles. Let it court case like you say you have to wait for two years, six months, or come to court today, come to court tomorrow. No. Contract marriage still remains the best. I don't know in our in our modern day world now, like in our own modern day world. Contract marriage is still the best, you understand? And let me explain something. Let me tell you something. People just want to get married to women because they want kids. It's not because they actually love them, but they have to just pretend to love them because they are the mother of their children. Because they love the children, so they are, they are, they have no children to love the woman. But deep down within them, they don't really, they don't really, they don't really fancy the whole, the whole thing called marriage. You understand? Even, even in the Bible, we said a man shall live, not a man must live. A man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife. So they will become one. Not a man must live. And it was, it was not written in the Bible where they say marriage is compulsory. It is not a compulsory. It is not. It's the, it, all those married and all those people think it all. It all ends in this particular. So people just want to get married. They, just, they, just, they want to have kids. And what about the good thing about the contract marriage? It doesn't prevent cheating. That is honest because if you cheat or if it is in the contract that you must not cheat, it's stated in the contract that you must not cheat. Like if you guys cheat, you guys will divorce. You understand? Definitely, you know what is you know what is at stake. Or if you cheat. Uh, maybe uh, eighty percent of the guys are said to belong to the gay, or if the gay cheat, most of the asset the gay actually will belong to the boys. So they will be like they will be check and balance. You understand? They will be checkmating the in the in the in the in the marriage. You understand? So going into, entering into a contract is very very important. Not I'm just going to do you do court wedding, and after you do court wedding, that's all. No, I would feel that like both. Uh, I know, I know, I know you love each other. I know they love you. fine, but uh, what if anything happens or there will be checkmates, you know, so there will be no room for cheating. So if one partner dies, for instance, now, some will not come and start claiming property, you know, because these people are already in contract already, you know, so they could, they, 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 they should, should, I think the contract is, to be honest, too, they should be, they should be, they should be an agreement between both parties for, for security purpose, for future purpose, you know, it helps to, it helps to build the bond, it helps to strengthen the relationship. People may not like the idea of contract marriage, but let me tell you, that is the, is the best. That is the, is the best you can think. That's the honest. People may not like, like the whole concept of uh, why am I doing contract? I thought she would love me and stuff like that. Why are we going to contract? No. Sister, but contract is the best because the rate of divorce, the rate of cheating, abusive relationship, domestic violence is on the high side. So to protect your mental, to protect yourself, you understand? I will advise you going to contract fine because it will, it will open, it will open like, it will, it will encourage open communication. To prevent lengthy court battles, it's like it will, it will, it will protect individuals' assets. That's why I, I, I will encourage people that. Though I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying people should follow what I'm saying. I'm just trying to tell you that this is the best form of marriage anybody can think of. It should be contract. That's why you see most people who are divorced, they don't end up uh, dissolving the marriage in the court. That's why you see some just go and get married somebody, some be married somebody, you understand. They don't end up um, uh, finally, uh, 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 dissolving the marriage fully. And this thing is not really good because it will not help the other person to move on or to get married because they will tell you they will tell you come to court today because lawyer wants to eat more money. They will, they will start uh, adjoining the case, extending the case one month, two months, six months, one year. You pass stay in court trying to dissolve your marriage. You understand? So it's really, really. But, but, but when you guys have a contract, everything written out, where it's spelled that, you understand? You know the do's and do's. She or she, he knows what to do and what is involved. So it it really it really helps you prevent so many many awful awful things circumstances that, that that may come along because we don't know tomorrow. we don't know like we don't even know the next ten minutes we don't know the next one. So people things happen, people change, and people may even fall out of love. You understand? Or people may just get married for the wrong reasons. You understand? So as I say, contrast marriage still remains the best. Form of marriage that is what I'll just that is I've done my research, I've taken time, I've done a lot of things. I do know that in Canada, eh, people in people people who are married are like 40 point something 40.5 million people are married, but they, their divorce rate is low, like the other part of their West Africa and um, sorry, most of their neighboring countries. You understand in Canada, their divorce rate is not as high as in you can find in America, in Russia, in uh, other part of the um, uh, Western um, countries. You understand. I think I'll be able to convince you that contract marriage is better than any form of marriage.
thank you so much kindly share this video like and comment see you in my next video thank you so much